Royal Feud, why Kate and William are less tactile than Meghan and Harry. Kate Middleton and Prince William don't need to be as tactile as Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are in public, for some fascinating reasons, a body language expert claims. Kate Middleton and Prince William are the proud parents of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, with speculation rife that the pair may be planning a fourth pregnancy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, meanwhile, are excitedly expecting the arrival of their royal baby, with a due date forecast for late April. The two families have split their households recently, in a division that is reigniting rumors of a deeper feud between the two very different couples. Podcast Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Ann Gripper, and regularly features Daily Mirror Royal editor Russell Myers. In an episode from June 2018, body language expert Judy James told listeners about the differences in their relationships, and why the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge don't need to be as tactile as Harry and Meghan. Podcast host Thames Gripper remembered Harry and Meghan's royal wedding, and asked, they had little moments that they seemed to share, they were holding hands a lot, it felt connected to me. Did I read the signals right? Ems James responded, I think that's something you felt intrinsically. She explained how things were different for William and Kate, adding, I think with William and Kate, that was real formal royals at their best. That's something that William and Kate are very good at. Kate for instance, since she became his wife. She's not put a foot wrong with her body language. She is not giving in so far as, we don't see a lot apart from the absolutely perfect smile, that really works, it's not a fake looking smile at all. They don't tend to be so tactile with one another, they never have been in public. We know they are a fun couple, in private, but they very much got that royal burden on their shoulders, they have to look like the future king and queen. They've chosen to be a lot less tactile. She continued, I think with Harry and Meghan, because the venue was quite small, you felt like you were there. The intimacy signals between Harry and Meghan, they were completely besotted with one another. Lots of what are called tie signs, with touching one another and the level of eye contact. However, Ems James added that there is another layer to the differences between the two couples. She said, there is another reason though, why they need to do that, which I find psychologically fascinating. William and Kate had spent years together before they got married, they'd been at UNI together, they knew each other really well. They were very twinned, lots of mirroring in their body language, they did the same waves, they smiled at the same time, they walked at the same pace. That showed a lot of like-minded thinking. What I'm finding interesting is Meghan and Harry. At the moment, they're very bonded by love and that's creating a very good double act. But, they are very different people with very different backgrounds. Although they're bonded by love they will need to continue to do all those little tie sign touches, glances and contacts, so they can choreograph their relationship in a way that William and Kate didn't need to.